Ezekiel and Davy got lost, never to be seen again. How this happened is very unknown, but I know. They walked into a cupboard and came out, and all of a sudden they were in a new land. Where are we? I have no clue. Little did they know, they were in the heart of Mexico. Yes, Ezekiel? Someday, this will be the greatest city on earth. But Ezekiel will still have many questions to answer. Ezekiel? Yes, David. What will you name all this land? I'll name it Tenochtitlan and the lake Texcoco. How are you going to keep all the water of Lake Texcoco off of our citizens? A dam, a massive dam will be put up to keep it out, and aqueducts to bring it down when we need them. That's how you'll get the water to the citizens? It is. Through aqueducts? Mm, it is. Uh, what type of style are you going to set up the city in? It's going to be grid lines. Five quadrants. Oh, very smart. To outside of the city on the marshes, on the land, plants, vegetation all over. That's how we will get food. Very wise. 200 years later. Ah, uh, yeah! The city of Tenochtitlan was thriving under the rule of King Ezekiel III. The city had over 200,000 people, was prosperous, and was growing by the year in number. But then, the unexpected happened. King Ezekiel. Yes. We have news of the invaders. From where? Who? Cortez. He's from another land. Next time on the takedown of Tenno Tutelon. Who are you? I am Fernando Cortez, and I am here to take Tenno Tutelon.